what can we do? You know, what can Democrats do to fight the Texas Handmaid's Tale? I think Ella uh, Mistal's um, idea. I was going to take it a step further. We were up against the you know the time break thing there, um, but I was going to take it a step further. If Joe Biden, I mean, you know, if the I, I agree, the Justice Department Merrick Garland statement was bland uh, to say the very least. But if Joe Biden was to go to the uh, go to the, go to the health care clinics, the the uh, abortion clinics in Texas and make every single person who works in them, the receptionists, the janitors, the, 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 uh, the physicians, the nurses, every person who works in them, a federal employee. And you don't have to give them a huge federal paycheck. It could be, you know, a stipend of some kind, 50 bucks a month. Make them federal employees. So now they have what Ellie referred to as qualified immunity. That might have just slid by you when he was talking about it. But qualified immunity is what makes it so hard to, to hold cops accountable. It's, what's, it, it, what, it's what makes it so hard to, to hold state legislators accountable when they do things like incite the January 6th you know, attempt to murder Vice President uh, Pence and, and Speaker of the House Pelosi. And by the way, we need to start referring to that not as an insurrection, but as an attempted murder, because that's what it was. But nonetheless, qualified immunity is a really powerful thing. You, it, it is almost impossible to go after a person who is a federal employee doing their job. And if, if Biden were to hire them now, I realize that we've got the old Hyde Amendment from the 70s that says that federal money can't be used for abortions. But that has to be attached to every single appropriation bill. There has to be appropriations out there and perhaps military appropriations because women in the army can get abortions, I believe. Um, perhaps I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Um, there, have to be, there has to be some place in the federal government where that money could come, it need not be a lot, to essentially deputize these people so that they would be immune for lawsuits. So the only people left would be the Uber driver and, uh, you know, in, in the case where somebody's actually paying for abortion services, uh, you know, if somebody loans them the money or something, that'd be a heck of a lot harder to find. But even a, a larger concern, by the way, is that if we can use vigilantism to sh and lawsuits, money, to shut down people's right to an abortion, can we also use them to shut down their right to free speech? For example, I, I see some bad stuff coming.